Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna talk about the capture or revert icon that pops up anytime we start to move things around inside of Fusion. So what does that mean? What does it do? And when would we actually use it? Well, the first thing that we need to understand is why it appears. Now, anytime that we move a component inside of Fusion, now it's not a body, but a component, that component has its own origin. The grill lid, for example, its origin is located at the origin of our design based on how the design was created. But if I rotate this around, notice that its coordinate system is moving. Now, this is how Fusion tracks the joints, but also how it tracks its position. It knows the orientation and rotation of the component's coordinate system relative to the default origin. Whenever we use capture position, it's going to take a snapshot of its current location. And whenever we use revert, it'll put it back to its original or last location. So for example, if we capture this position, at the very end of our timeline, we now have a position feature. Now a position feature can be deleted, suppressed, or even configured using configurations in Fusion. But we can also right click and edit it. When we edit this, we can go to a different position, maybe a mid open position, and we can finish or capture its location. This can be true for any components in a design, whether or not they have assembly joints. If a component is free to move about, you can simply reposition it in space and capture its position. This can be a great way to capture the position of a component and use sketch tools like intersect or project and design features like stops, mounting tabs, or other components that are position based. Remember that this is recorded in the timeline, so an edit would affect everything after it in the timeline as it can be edited or suppressed. If you want to go back at any point in time and make edits, for example, we want the lid all the way open, we can edit those. Once again, that is the main use case for capturing its position, but anytime that we move a component inside of our design, that capture position or revert will appear because Fusion needs to keep track of where that origin is. Now, if we move something without actually capturing its position and we try to start a new feature, for example, a sketch, we will get a warning asking us whether or not we want to capture or revert back to the previous position. Now, this is simply to make sure that Fusion knows exactly where all design elements are when we begin using things like projected references. In this case, however, we're going to go ahead and go back to this open. We're going to go down to these capture positions in the timeline, and I'm going to delete both of them, putting it back to its original orientation. Then I can hide the origin of my component as well as that top level origin. Note that when you do this with bodies, Fusion will not be tracking the location of the bodies. However, using things like move, copy, and align will put those features in the timeline. Fusion doesn't keep track of bodies coordinate systems because they belong to components, whether at the very top level or inside of another subcomponent. So hopefully next time that pops up, you'll have a little bit more information about why it's there and why you might want to use it.